over the weekend, Trump had teased a special surprise witness for the grand jury testimony in the Stormy Daniels hush money case. So now that uh, special surprise witness has been revealed as Giuliani lawyer Robert Costello. Ah, so Rudy Giuliani's lawyer. Uh, and that's uh, one of them. Actually, there could be two. But that other witness may be Michael Cohen again. Uh, but let's get into why in the details, okay? So now Costello is a former legal advisor to Michael Cohen, as well as, of course, uh, counsel to Rudy Giuliani. So now why is Cohen there and why is Trump happy about this? Because he is right now celebrating like, oh, yeah, yeah, we've got Costello out there. Uh, he's going to prove once and for all. Uh, actually, I, I might as well just give you the the quote on this. Uh, Trump on Sunday posted a true social. The most important witness will testify before the grand jury on Monday. Teasing the testimony would come from a highly respected lawyer who once represented Cohen. And of course, he didn't mention Costello by name. And now we know that that's who it is. Uh, and he said the information he will present will supposedly be conclusive and irrefutable. Witch hunt. Of course, in all caps. All right. So, look, Cohen, uh, the reason that he might be another witness is to give a rebuttal to whatever Costello has to say. All right. Um, but we don't know what exactly that is because we don't know uh, what he had testified. So, again, there's a lot of unknowns here in this part. Uh, but that said, we do know charges on Tuesday, not very likely. That said, right now, uh, Trump uh, has a couple of defenses. And so, um, if he ends up being indicted, he would, uh, you know, basically claim, his lawyers, uh, that he would have paid off Stormy Daniels whether or not he was running for president to avoid embarrassment as a public figure. So essentially admitting that, yes, he did have an affair with uh, Stormy Daniels uh, and that uh, it just would have been too embarrassing, you know, to not give her hush money and tell her to shut up and go away. So that itself, I would say kind of a damning thing uh, right there, basically admitting that you did what you did. Um, and then admitting that, hey, look, even if I wasn't running for president, I still would have paid her off. Then you admitted that you did it. How's that a good defense? <laughs> um, and then, uh, but they're also going to point to Daniel's attempting to sell the story back in 2011 uh, as saying, well, she's been trying to get, get, get to us for a long time on that. And so we were going to pay her off uh, eventually at some point. Oh, wonderful. Wonderful. Um, now, the DA, of course, is expected to focus on how the Trump organization had actually falsified the payments made to Cohen as a legal expense when it wasn't. Now, a lot of the information related to how the payments were set up and facilitated, well, I think a lot of that testimony came from Michael Cohen. And so here's Costello coming in to undermine Cohen and basically paint him as a liar. Uh, and look, uh, it seems like a smart legal strategy from what we see, because they don't really seem to have a, a, any more of a uh, a better legal strategy, I should say. Because look, Cohen had lied on behalf of Donald Trump. He went to prison for it. So basically, Costello is going to argue, hey, look, Cohen gave you all this information and all this testimony. Can you believe that guy? He's a lying snake. He's a, he's a greasy, greasy, snaky person. You can't trust anything, he says. And this is all just part of a witch hunt. Now, whether that's going to fly with the jury, I have no idea. <laughs> okay. But that said, uh, the Guardian notes that it's unclear if Costello is testifying on uh, the request of Trump defense lawyers or on the request of the grand jurors. Both things are possible. Uh, and so, I mean, maybe this doesn't go uh, to help Donald Trump. Maybe this actually uh, isn't him trying to undermine Cohen. The reasoning, I think, matters. So now Cohen, uh, now that Cohen's a focus is Costello, he's actually asked about this. Uh, and he said this, quote, I don't have any idea as to why at this stage would you even need that, referring to his testimony. And I don't want to speculate, nor do I want to start doing what Donald does, which is just to put out more shit. 
end quote. So again, what this means is because there's a new witness, there's not going to be charges on Tuesday. Very, 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 very unlikely, right? Now, considering, of course, the, that this is a former president, it's a really, really big step. There's a lot of politics involved, whether we like it or not. And even Donald Trump, as much as I despise the man, deserves to get to let the legal process play out before any criminal indictment or arrest is done. I mean, look, uh, I know it's 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 the main like the right wing is arguing, oh, it, you know, they just uh, they just want to punish their political enemies. No, this is with fake trials and witch hunts. No, that's projection. That's, that's exactly what they want to do. I don't want political tri uh, trials or charges. That would be a disaster. But as I told you before, I definitely think, in my personal opinion, that Trump broke campaign finance laws, um, that he knew about this. And so it's going to be very interesting to see if the arguments from this last uh, latest witness would be enough to convince the jury to not uh, recommend indictment. Again, we'll have to see. Uh, maybe tomorrow's the day. Maybe the next day. Uh, but... You know, it's going to be a very interesting, and if you're Donald Trump, incredibly stressful week.